This is Big Brother. <clears throat> there are two people nominated for eviction this week. Controversial. <laughs> Day 12, 7.50 a.m. It's the day after the group made their second set of nominations. All of the housemates are in bed, except John who comes to the diary room. Good morning, big brother. Good morning, John. I've been up half the night anyway, um, because the lads had a discussion in the room last night. I'm sure you caught it. First real division in the group, so how exciting. Um, I think we're all getting a bit... I think frustrated is the, is the right word at this stage and that we've got to make economies and go back to basics and perhaps the girls haven't quite realised that yet. We have to nail this one. We cannot possibly survive with 10 people on £35. I know it's been done before in previous series but there's no way this group can survive on £35 next week. Simply not possible. So we have to pass this task on Wednesday morning, which means that we have to apply ourselves today. Um, I certainly know everything there is to know so far. We haven't done a tent yet, but I know everything there is to know about scouting and everything there is to know about knots. That's not being arrogant, that's just, that's just the way it is. 8.13 a.m. John and Steph are the only housemates up. As part of the task, Big Brother can call the group to perform a Cub Scout parade in the garden within two minutes of a whistle sounding. We've got six days. Ask them much if we don't, because we don't eat meat. Yeah. Because we... Fuck it! You get yours. Up, up, everybody up! You knew that was going to happen. Come on, boys. Check, 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 John, check. Check the back, check the back. Yeah. Mine, mine. Fine. All right, at alert. I haven't got my mic. Shh. Cubs, do your best. We will, we will do our best. best. Okay, well done. <laughs> what was I like, coming out of the room like this? <laughs> I knew that was going to kick off. You knew that was going to kick off. Eleven thirty-seven a.m. Most of the housemates are still in bed. John's asleep on the sofa. Every day the group must feed three fish and follow instructions to maintain the water. Goss and Cameron are in the garden. Ah, oh, boy. Bread is in. Oh, super. So is it going to be lunchtime bread? Just yep. scrambled eggs, baked beans and toast. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? That'll do fine. Yeah. <sighs> no, this is super. You like? I don't know how long I could live like this. It wouldn't be a year. God I don't know. I could do it for a year. I don't know if I could do the whole nine weeks, mate. Oh, that's rubbish. <sighs> oh, I'm dreading them reading out the names today. Ach, what can you do about it, then? You can't, you just got to take it on the chin yeah, and carry exactly. on. exactly. <clears throat> we will do our best! 12.22pm. Big Brother has just called the group to their second Cub Scout parade of the day. Bread done, is it? Huh? Your bread done? Yeah, there's one there, there's one in the thing for lunch. Well, I see Sissy's eyes light up, she's all bread! I said, yep, see you later. 
thought, you can't, you can't be going through that now, man. And I knock up the lentil soup, and then, you know, if you don't want the sausage sandwich, there's soup there as well for the vegetarians. I'll do that, I'll make that tonight. We have to take control, no? I'm so fed up talking about food in the food situation. Yeah, we just got to forget about it. Bam, food talk. <sighs> One thirty four PM. All of the housemates except Federico are in the garden. Big Brother has delivered a tent as part of their weekly task. Is it large pegs? Yeah. It's a large yeah. pegs, Cam. Yeah. Can I get a large peg then? And a hammer. <coughs> is this the right um, angle though? Bear in mind this is gonna all be chopped out in a minute. Would you mind holding this? No, yeah. but these move. <laughs> these move once the tent is Oh we just put it in for now. <coughs> yeah, we're aiming for. So can I go ahead and put it in? Goss. Yeah. 45 degrees to the ground. Do we put it in like that opposite, opposite that tent? Basically, it's it like doesn't matter yet, Sissy, because these move. Oh, right, okay. Wait, um, this needs to put it in. Like that. Then I could put it in. Put it in there. Turn it around. Like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Go like that. Yeah, like that. Go like that. That's going to come away, though. No, 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 because it's going in the ground, don't forget. Right. Make sure. No, don't go as far as that is. Oh, no, no, no. They don't get that. No, don't. It's fine over. like that. That's it's crossing over. These are going to move anyway. You get out. We'll move them out. out to the no, just it afterwards. Make sure they touch it. Come from there. Just it anyway, won't we? Let's just get the nice structure off. <laughs> but once we've put it up, do we keep it? That's fine. Right I'll tell you what, I'm doing this job every time. This is great for the old aggression. Right. Ah. Peg with the other guy lines, Sorry. starting with the corner guys. It's one or the other. Either I go, either he goes or I go, because I can't continue to live here if he's here. Four thirty six PM. Big Brother has gathered the group on the sofas to reveal this week's nomination results. John is grinding coriander seeds for their evening meal. Where the fuck is that from? Jumpers. Carpet, is it? Can you get jumpers? Your boat? No. Well, it's a scalp thing, but could you yeah, get... Yeah, This is Big Brother. <coughs> there are two people nominated for eviction this week. Controversial. They are... Massive pause. In alphabetical order. Another massive pause. John. Thought so. And Justine. <gasps> what? Where is it? <gasps> <coughs> okay. yeah. Just I thought it was going to be. Can we go outside and do the tent now? Did you do the tent? I thought it was going to be. 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 I thought it was I'm, I'm nearly done, I'm nearly done. So let's do the tent. You're like me, man. I thought it was going to be more than two. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought it'd be three. I was waiting on you, okay? Of course. We're all going to have to go through this. <laughs> and besides, I've Your had... poor mates. I, I, yeah, I know, my poor mates. But I've had practice at it. I, you know, it didn't, didn't really phase me the first week. It's not going to phase me this week. So. Hmm. 
Shall we put the tent up? Yeah. Are we doing it as a sex and a play? No. Four forty five PM. John, Scott, Federico and Rhea are in the garden. But you know, I'm not gonna really ruin the whole week, so we get on with it and we, we yeah. pass this test. I decided someone else you look like before, by the way, John. A young Stevie Wonder. Yes. Yeah. I don't flow before the tears flow, Justine. I certainly will. Sessie's just a fucking wreck, well, look at her. Tanya. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> you best not lose anyone from our room, and I, I know no, that's... Don't worry. We'll get one. Clap or... I'm going to have another one. Oh. I'm going to go into someone to vote a thousand times. <laughs> you don't need to go. Oh. Thank you, Mum. I think Justine's uh, having a moment. Sure. I think, you, yeah, I think you, sure. you're doing the right thing, John, like we did, all did last week. You've just got to belt on with something straight away, if you can, haven't you? Cause it's not going to affect me until an hour before the uh, eviction is getting We know what it is. Yeah, that, it does you get into the room? Getting out, so. The way I'm looking at it, it's another random thing. I hope that if some people had problems with me, then they'd come and tell me, and they haven't, so I've got to believe it. It's a you know what it's like. You know, you know, yeah. you know how hard it was to nominate people. Right, this is the only sign I'm going to give that I'm pissed off about this. <sighs> I bet the task. No, about the nomination. I bet the nomination. Ooh, ow. 5.38pm. Goss has cooked a chickpea and potato curry for dinner. Steph, Scott and Federico are in the kitchen. There's only three girls left, or huh? four. Four girls to be left. Give it a you, Justine's just sitting here laying all sure, that. Sure, yeah. She's laying them all. I sure it. She's laying everything. Cool. Fair play to her. Because she hasn't done much laying of the, of the actual book. The TV paper? No. The dates and the badges, and she's sitting there and she's laying them. Give it a you, do you know what I mean? It doesn't mean, doesn't mean she's going. Then I'd also said to Fed in the day out here that girls do usually go first. Yeah. yeah. And if you're a loud girl, they, uh, they tend to. You're gone. Everybody loves the sunshine. I can't wait till tomorrow where we can take this. Yeah. We'll just lay in the sun. Just get it out of the way. And then it's Thursday, Friday, so it's not long left, really, is it? Oh, well, look, if it is me, then, you know, I've had a fab time. I've met some great people. It's not the end of the world. I've been through worse. You'll be there for me when I come out? Of course I will. I'll be there for everyone. Definitely be there for you. I'll be watching. Throw some sugar over. I'm going to sugar. You don't know. You don't know. It could be either one of you. I, c I can't say what people are going to think. I'm just worried that girls are going to get picked off. Oh, fine, mate. I mean, I'm the kind of person, and it might sound silly, but I don't believe in wasting effort. And worrying about going out on Friday seems to be <coughs> a complete waste of time. So I'm not going to do it. See, you now, if that was me, I'd be like thinking, oh, shit. I thought there'd be four of us, so we did. I thought there'd be more. Mm. I think I know why I've been nominated. You picture it this time next week. <coughs> Tuffy. 6.16 p.m. The nominations were announced one hour and 40 minutes ago. Most of the housemates are inside. John's weeding the vegetable patch. Sissy, Steph and Justine are in the garden. You are right. Yeah. You're a bit gobsmacked. You How's it feel? Bit. You must be a bit. Yeah, a bit gobsmacked. How's it feel? Um, sort of like mixed feelings because, you know, you don't want to go, but, you know, you kind of start to prepare yourself so you're thinking about family. But I should talk to John because I haven't said a word to him yet and I feel a bit awkward about that. You start thinking who's done it? Um Yeah, that's what I wonder if he's Yeah, but you can sort of you can sort of suss it all out really. Can you? Yeah. You can because you well, know I thought you... I was then and I'd sussed out who it was. No. 
you can you can suss it you can suss it out I think I might be completely wrong but they need to take that tent down it's going to rain oh, I don't know it's got to happen sometimes isn't it John. Yes, lots of weeds. Huh? Lots of weeds. Six forty five PM. Most of the group are in the garden practicing their task. Rhea and Federico are on the sofas. I can imagine actually showed. What? That's crack. What? Imagine it's just seen it goes on Friday on, on Saturday, right? You can always are gonna feel well isolated. Aren't they? And uh, because I was absolutely shocked, there was there was a guy, there was there was a girl up for it this week. I was convinced it would just be guys, because I thought four is going to be four. You know, I think the guys have kind of um, bonded a bit more. I think the girls have maybe that's my opinion anyway. I don't know. I say that, that the girls have actually got well, on with the guys. Some, I don't because one 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 bloke in this group that we don't get on with, no. we crack with. But I, I don't. I'm not saying we've not bonded. We've bonded brilliantly. But I think well, we've bonded just, just, have have bonded just as well. No, yeah. I, I, I think I think the thing with the girls is because they lost someone last week, and it yeah. just made them tighter. Definitely. Well, you Definitely. Yeah. You noticed that from Friday night. Yeah. That's why, if another one goes, they are going to be thinking that seriously so they've been picked off aren't they they're going to be thinking that they, they, they can't have a house they can't have just the lads huh? oh, it's going to be they can't, they can't, they can't have just, oh, no, it'd be dead. <laughs> I know I'd be dead I mean probably would never come to this but imagine it came down to there was six of us here that'd be <laughs> that'd be fucking hard 7.16pm Rear, Scott Goss and Federico are on the sofas Justine, Tanya and Noosh are on the decking. I'm feeling so weak. Are you lot? I'm not too bad. See, I'm really, I'm feeling really weak and I've eaten exactly the same <coughs> as everyone else. I ate some cheap It's a lack of chocolate. It's taking a it while is. for your system. It's going to take me a while. By Sunday, when we do get the shopping, if we get the task, I'll be like, my stomach will have shrunk because that's what happens. Mm. And I'm going to keep it that way. That chocolate was so nice, and I remember Nils was like, I want to put chocolate. Have you been sugar. able to pick any strawberries yet? Yeah, we did. They, um, Sissy picked one um, the other day. There aren't a lot, though. There'll never be enough for, like, anything no. much. No, but so Same with the spinach. And cream. No. Like, that spinach, all of that will be enough until he's five of us. <laughs> and they've actually grew. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if all the girls were just left? No. Have you got boss? That'd be great. <laughs> Eight forty eight PM. <laughs> Most of the housemates are in the garden. Nush is practicing yoga. Justine's getting ready for bed. Okay. Night to you too, Justin. See you oh, in the that morning. won't work. No. This is your brother. Would Justine come to the dining room? Oh, I just made a cup of coffee. Stop! Stop! Right. Yeah. right! To your right! To your left! Uh, yeah, you've got to do the side. Is that enough? Oh, I'm fucking no, don't. How do you feel about the nomination results? Um, I don't know why, but I sort of felt that, you know, I knew that there was going to be two people and I kind of knew that it was going to be me or John. So he may have seen a change in me towards him the last few days, which there has been. I don't think he's um, the same kind of person that I saw when I came in. I've never been attracted to him and I'm, I'm personally feeling that I'm being kind of put into a bracket of some sort with him and it's making me feel very creepy <laughs> I have to be honest So you said you feel that possibly it's him that's changed as much as your feelings towards him Yeah well this I mean I think I don't know whether it's me but or or if he's not experienced with women I know that he said he told somebody that he hasn't had a girlfriend for the last 10 years you know, and uh, and I kind of felt warm towards him when I first came into the house. And, you know, we've got some nice guys, we've got some younger guys, we've got some cheeky guys, we've got some guys that come across in, in a rude, abrupt way, which some girls like. And so when you, you're a guy, you'll look at the way how the other guys are acting. 
and I personally feel that John's looking at the way how the other guys are acting and he's trying to change his attitude or his, his character or his... I don't know what it is, but this is the way how I'm seeing it. Um, and it's coming across in a way to me that's just wrong. Nine twelve p.m. Justine, Steph and Noosh are talking in the bedroom. It doesn't, it doesn't look like this guy that I know. It's just... It's the way... I feel so pathetic and pathetic, but it's the way how he says my name. <laughs> Who? Who? Like, John. I have this problem now where I can't even look at him. Because he just creeps me out. He creeps you out. He does. It's awful. I can't live like this. So either, you know, it's, it's a good thing, and this is what's in the diary room. I mean, I'm not supposed to discuss it, but to you, it's a good thing that either, it's either, either... It's one or the other. Either, I get, either he yeah. goes or I go, because I can't continue to live here if he's here. 10.59 p.m. Justine, Steph and Noosh are in bed. The rest of the group are in the living room. John's talking to Big Brother in the diary room. Hello, John. How are you? Fine, thank you. Fine, yes. It wasn't unexpected, um, unfortunately, Big Brother. Um, not that I think that the other housemates don't like me. Um, part of the game, isn't it, I suppose? Um, so... Poor old friends of mine who have to make the trip from all around the country to, to come down and and see me perhaps not a, not appear again. Well, it's fingers crossed not appear again. Um, although obviously that will mean that Justine goes out. Um, and that, that will be unfortunate, obviously. I know I nominated her, but uh, that's not something I wish on anybody. Um, having said that, she has, as I said to Cameron earlier started to grate on me a little bit today um, and all, I, don't, I don't know somehow we're not getting on at the moment we're not we're just not speaking for a start um, and you know I've tried to be positive about the task and help everyone through it um, but whenever I have tried to offer help on learning stuff she seems to have knocked it back in my face um, and everybody else seems to have uh, said that they're very thankful for you know, the, me sitting with people and going through things with them and trying to help them learn stuff. So, uh, yes, I'm quite comfortable with my nomination this week, um, unfortunately, in that respect. Um, but no, in answer to your original question, um, yeah, I'm fine, really. I'm fine. I'm not down about it. You know, it is part of the game and we are all going to have to go through this at some point and more than once um, and I've got to be quite honest that if I go out on Friday I'm so looking forward to my first beer you would not believe it's going to taste so good who goes you decide to evict John call 09011 5 or text Bort John to 854 To evict Justine, call 09011 6 Or text Bort Justine to 854